Hello and welcome to this Terrain Composer tutorial. In this tutorial I will explain the Terrain Composer interface. Let's get started by clicking Window Terrain Composer. I dock the Terrain Composer window and click Help Away. If you start Terrain Composer you notice that the Terrain Composer game object is created in the hierarchy. Now if I click it and go to Inspector, it's just an empty game object, but under it is the Terrain Composer Save Game Object, and in there the script. And in the script, everything is saved that you do in Terrain Composer, the whole project. So if I go to Terrain Composer here, if you have something in here like Layers, then delete the Terrain Composer Save, then Terrain Composer will be resetted. So you have to keep in mind that you don't delete this from the hierarchy. There's a menu in the top of the Terrain Composer window. Terrain Composer has an updater built-in. And you can do that by uh, click help and then update. If I release a new Terrain Composer version I announce it on my website on the forum. And um, from here you can click check now to see the latest version and if there's a new version the button will change into uh, download then import and then you can update to the latest version then there is the um, the output buttons over here and height is for um, generating a height map color for exporting a color map and then splat for generating a splat map placing trees placing grass and placing objects. Then there is the export button. With the export button you can export grass, trees, splat maps, color images and height maps. You can import a height map from the height map layer and uh, Terrain Composer exports a 16-bit raw scale image and this also has to be uh, the import format you can uh, import um, height maps from uh, for example world machine even from photoshop and you can use photoshop to uh, create a, a mask and then to be used in a, a height map layer for example to to make an island to make an island shape the color maps uh, can be used in uh, additional terrain shaders for example in an rtp terrain shader splat maps um, you can also import from the ones you exported from Train Composer but also from World Machine. The trees and the grass have to be loaded in Quick Tools so with Tree Map you can uh, load your tree, your saved trees and the same for grass can also be uh, loaded here and you can load multiple um, trees and grass maps and generate them over each other and then also add layers and then generate on top of that uh, you can use this um, th this exporting if you make manual changes so for example uh, you generated trees and then you uh, use the manual terrain tool to uh, modify the trees and then you want to save it you can then export it then if you want to generate some more with terrain composer you can load it here and then add your tree layers in here to generate on top then there are some buttons to access the tools World Composer if you have it and then the help button. Now let's move over to the uh, component interface buttons. If you start Terrain Composer for the first time it, the interface might be a little bit overwhelming but I assure you once you learn Terrain Composer you will find it very easy to use and I also design it that way that you can create something very fast and uh, that's why you see uh, a lot of these buttons over here but basically they all have the same functionality so uh, once you understand them it becomes like more logical so uh, the interface buttons are like plus minus F A and Y and then these buttons over here so uh, if you click plus it will always add something uh, if you click minus you will have to hold the control key and that is for uh, safety you can click minus um, to erase and also here and if you want to add something 
in between you can click plus here then there is the um, the F and the A button the F will fold out everything and close again the A button deactivate and then activate and there is like uh, if you shift click it will invert so if I have more in here shift click invert the selection same with the uh, F button in Terrain Composer you can almost activate deactivate every component so also a terrain you can activate deactivate and if it's not active Terrain Composer won't generate to that terrain then there is the um, these buttons over here and that is just for swapping around so if I click this one it will move the tree layer down and this will move it up if I click S then I can swap it with another layer and it's just to move position you, if you have more layer groups so I add a layer group here you can move a layer to another layer group by clicking the layer and then uh, click parent and then move it to here and then move it back with the edit you can edit the names with the, edit, with the E button also double click mm, you can also uh, duplicate and copy each component so a layer, a filter, a mask, a tree and this you can do by shift clicking plus so if I shift click now it will duplicate this tree layer mm, if you want to copy something for example I um, make a filter here put it on steepness I want to copy this filter and its subfilter I alt click S and then if I click alt click plus it will paste it the I button is for uh, displaying a short list or hiding so if I would have like many terrains in here and I would click the I button it will display a short list over here it will like hide and show these buttons so if I normally click it then shift click it will do for the layer group then there is the uh, menu button where you can um, open and save uh, all these layers in uh, one layer group and uh, you can also sort them and this is actually the same sh shift click sort it will sort all the layers in this order that is over here and if you click uh, layer you can also load and save each layer now let's move over to the menu in file you can uh, start a new train composer project open a project or save a project or close the window in edit you can undo redo and it's the same as uh, the unity menu undo and redo and also the shortcut keys work in tools you can um, uh, access the uh, the measure tool and this is for um, measuring uh, every parameter on the terrain very handy and um, there's quick tools and that's the tools over here so there is uh, a stitch tool to uh, stitch terrains together if the height map doesn't fit smooth tool to uh, smooth the terrain the slice tool will uh, slice one terrain into four terrains so four smaller terrains and it will slice anything that is in the list so if you have four terrains in here those terrains will be sliced each into four so you will have 16 terrains then and you can slice as many times as you want so if you would slice those 16 again it will uh, sl be sliced into 64 terrains there's a mesh converter that can convert unity train to meshes there's the uh, global parameters and um, in here you can change uh, how terrain composer reads the height and the, the steepness so if you have a complete project you will if you would change this uh, you will see a complete different output then uh, there's the loading of tree maps and grass maps and there's a uh, light setup in the light setup you can uh, set up everything that has to do with lighting and I uh, made this all into this because uh, in unity you have to go to edit render settings and then you can do uh, mist ambient light but uh, then again if you have like create other directional light you have to click directional light over here and then 
you cannot set them at the same time so if you put the directional light here you can set all your lighting settings from here in one window also the skybox then there is the uh, mesh capture tool with the mesh capture tool you can um, export images of the top view of your um, meshes in the scene so if you have like a house a car in there and you can export the top view wireframe and then this image you can uh, use as a reference for placement or to exclude something uh, with a mask for example if you place a house you don't want to place grass under it you can use that image for it also you can use it for multi-level placement if you want to place uh, stuff um, around the house so in object you would place houses then in the second layer level you want to place uh, trees around the house or a garden you can use the mesh capture tool for that then there is the uh, image filter tool and this tool about uh, placement based on image colors for example you can use it to uh, place trees on a satellite image on exactly the green color and you can do anything with these color rules input image and filters and masks then there is the uh, image pattern tool and that is for creating textures also the image height map tool is for um, exporting height maps and just add pearl and texture actually then in options there is uh, colors you can set so background color enabled disabled and uh, for example train color over there then there is the generate settings everything that has to do to be done uh, with the generate settings all these settings uh, can be seen in the, the main manual how they work there is the tray max settings where you can uh, change the few distances for the editor the, the maximum settings so that is actually over here in the train and settings this is like the basement distance can be maximum set to 500,000 and you can change it over here also for runtime you can change the max settings and now for example you can only uh, create maximum 16 terrains but if I will put it to uh, 43 you can create 43 uh, by 43 uh, I did put the number to 16 actually for uh, for new users that they won't uh, create like a massive stuff and to a little bit uh, restrict it a little bit but you can change it over here also the resolution is restricted to a uh, max 8k height map because if you use too high resolutions you can run into memory problems so this is also locked and you can also unlock it if you really know what you're doing then there is the uh, the database restore uh, train composer has a database with layers filters masks and I actually created this for myself so somebody runs into a problem you can send me the prefab of the project and then I can take a look in here and fix it in here then there is a uh, view and this is everything that is related to the display let's start with layer count layer count will uh, show the amount of layers you have of each type so you can see over here you can disable it and then uh, place count um, that is for displaying with trees and objects so if you place trees with terrain composer they are counted uh, for each layer for each tree how much there is placed and it show behind the layer then uh, behind the tree and you can disable enable the view with place count then there is the output layers only and that is for if you go from for example from tree to height map that it will only show the height map layers or only show the tree layers only show the splat layers if I click on it now I have it disabled and if I enable it again it will work again so now it will only show the height map layers uh, I made this in a newer version because for example you are on tree and then you want to generate on the height map you change your height map layers because they are visible in here then click generate and then think hey there's nothing changing but that's because it's still on tree so with this option enabled 
it will make sure that you always uh, generate to the output you want. Then there is uh, remarks. If you want to add some text or notification, you can do it in here and at a lot of places it is. Also in each layer. There is the, the layer group. Um, so let's show that button again. And so if I would have like this layer, I need the button over here to this layer group. So uh, I can disable the view of the, the layer groups and it will just hide them, but they're still grouped. There is the project info over here. Then there is the um, terrain tabs that will um, disabling will show the fallouts and this is actually how terrain composer was before and I'm created the tabs later and this is much more handy. Uh, then there's colors you can turn off. Then there is uh, the color curves and the mix curve. This is basically uh, just a visual. So I can delete this one again. It's a visual over here that you can see the, the fall off. Then there is a box that will uh, put a box around the layer, the filter and the mask. If you have Unity free, this might give a better overview. Then there is the uh, filter select text. And this is the text that is displayed in filters and masks. So if I will disable it, it will only show filter 0, filter 1, mask 0, mask 1. But if I enable it, and let's see that from a tree uh, layer, it will say that it uh, that what it does. So a filter will select which tree to place and the mask is for the tree density so this is then easier to remember then there is the uh, toggle text and that is um, the small text over here like activate so do a long text you can see it uh, getting longer okay and then finally we have to help we have about that's the version number there is the terrain composer manual the world composer manual there is the uh, the start window and it's the same if you click help here then we have the uh, example window this is, uh, then update which we already talked about and then the uh, tool tip text and that is if you hover over something it will say what it is. This is the uh, end of the tutorial. Again Im imagine it was all a bit overwhelming but it is a, a quick summary of all the things that are in Train Composer. If you learn Train Composer you will start to really appreciate the interface because it's it's multi-editing it's like uh, you can duplicate, you can copy everything you can quickly activate, deactivate quickly fold out, close fold out, go over to something, click away. So the interface is really designed to have quick access and to have a very fast workflow. Thank you very much for watching.